just just watch okay maybe eating the old mayo is not a good idea I think she's pushed the gross stuff too far. Finally, nobody wants to see this stuff. She's sitting there for days. Now in filth, garbage is just piled all around her. Nasty. It's too much to look at anymore. People are moving on. Yeah, it's getting really bad lately. And she has the money to have house cleaners. Yeah, usually by now she gives us a three days cleaning, but it seems like it's been a long time since she's done that. The three days cleaning only removes some of the surface of trash and she hasn't done it in forever. Then only problem is they won't sleep with her, so she isn't going to waste money. Was this the same stream where she asked with a straight face why no man wanted to marry her? Imagine being that out of touch. I used to work in the funeral profession and we did the funeral for a woman twice that size. The fire brigade had to take out a window to get her out of the house to take her to hospital for post-mortem. Upon arrival, the hospital found the TV remote and the mobile with 12 missed calls in her folds. When she was back at her funeral home, I had to clean up the remote because the family asked for its return so they could use their TV. Disgusting. Wonder how long it was there. Her elbows are in horrible shape as well. Filthy. Uh -uh. And obviously, that should say how long. Fat fingers today. She probably showers once a week. So... Well, she did admit this summer that she hadn't brushed her teeth for about two months, so that's entirely possible. Working from home must be brutal. Why do I even click these videos anymore? I was just about to eat. Never, never try and eat and watch her. I made that mistake once and almost lost my lunch. She is definitely the most disgusting and grossest person on YouTube. I can honestly say I have never come across anyone this disgusting. Not even a child. Kids can be disgusting, lol. They're kids, it's their job. But nope, I've never come across a kid this gross ever. This is so gross. Surprised she didn't eat them after. She probably did. I'm watching this while I work out. Truly the best motivation. I wish I could unsee that. I mean, I'm a woman. I've had this happen. You will not see me going online shirtless and unloading leftovers from my bra. What the fuck? How does that much food fall in there? Low-cut shirts and cleavage gap are the perfect storm for an avalanche worth of food to land in there. Especially when you can't chew with your mouth closed and eat for 14 hours straight each day. Why is she so confident to sit there with her whole gut just out? Have some dignity, woman. She thinks she's is funny. She is an actual vending machine. This is what I see when I click on her channel. Not sure I am glitching. This channel is not available. At YouTube, I'd like a response on how the hell you allow me to... A single creator by making their entire channel about one person for years. Look at her channel. Not a single video about anyone else. If this is not effing harassment, you need to give your heads a shake. How is this even content? This does nothing but perpetuate more hate and uh, against the subject constantly. Being targeted by the same person over and over. This person has gone after my family and even shown up at public events where I was. It has built an entire community solely on bullying one individual over and over and over and still you do nothing. What will it take for someone to mm, themselves over it? Whoa, her channel is gone. Not gone. Never gone. She couldn't do that. Obviously, she's still stalking reactors, but I still feel like I've come out of a hostage situation and I can breathe again. It's been so long.
Blame YouTube for that. They gave her the channel back. But what about her mansion watch party she had scheduled for the 29th? She just privated it. She'll be back. We all know it will be back, but still. Party! Mm. For how long though? Also, YouTube sent an email to Beezers about membership being paused, but her name isn't in it. So strange. This makes me worried about her, to be honest. I hope it falls apart before she meets this controlling dude. Yeah, same. She just hit it. All uploads are private, not removed. She'll enable it soon enough. Please beg me to come back, VIBs. Someone had a fight with her boyfriend. Sounds like she had a fight with Salam. She really allowing this dude to control everything? This shit is crazy. Attention whore! Hey, this message is for FFG, Internet's hugest bully and hypocrite. I'd like to know how you have the nerve to sit there and say that I'm disrespecting an entire culture and religion when you literally sit there purposely and mispronounce his name over and over, which is racist. And also using terms like Hamadan, also disrespecting a culture. So how about you have several effing seats? Bye. How is saying a name wrong racist? What is disgusting is you having that head? When you make fun of traditional names in a certain culture, it's kind of racist and totally disrespectful to that culture. I can't stand Chantal and I'm annoyed that I have to sound like I might be on her side. I totally agree. I still don't agree because the name started as a silly autocorrect that turned into a silly joke. There was no racist origin to it. I guess it's a case-by-case -case basis, still which coming from the bitch that called an Egyptian man a camel. I totally get the autocorrect thing cause my phone did the same, but I just get annoyed that everyone wants to pretend that some people aren't taking advantage and using this an as an opportunity to be openly racist. As far as Chantal, she's fucking trash all the time. Oh, I totally agree. She called an Egyptian man a camel and said he would go back to his country. At Foodie Beauty OG is the racist piece of shit here. And no amount of deleting things will change that. She's just mad. FFG sees right through her and calls her out. Come live and tell us all about it, Chantal. Tell us how you're a minority member of society now, and people calling you names is racist somehow. I'm dying to hear it. I just wish she stop hiding behind the comments off thing. If you're going to pop off, at least let people respond. Phony, dainty girl, voice on point. Psycho. FFG will read her for filth, and that might send her over the edge. Spreading peace and acceptance, like an exemplary wholesome woman who has experienced a spiritual awakening. I need a full wage at this point. Come on, VIBs, just push her a little bit more and we'll get that epic wage stream we want so badly and all know is coming. I can't wait. Extra low BMI voice. Wow, her smug voice is now incredibly self-righteous. It's off the charts. How about you have several effing seats? What if some of us don't know how to pronounce his name? How is that disrespectful? You're almost there, sister. Rage incoming. Man, you guys had me worried today. Kept seeing Foodie's channel was deleted. Glad the chaos continues. Her CEO voice with a bit of smug. Perfect. Thumbs up. I can't wait for her karma to kick her ass. Waiting for the biggest explosion. It's racist because she's not on a diet. Yeah, calling another camel with AIDS is totally fine, you guys. Pupil check. Bah ha ha ha. When you eat so much salad that it starts coming back. No, at Foodie Beauty OG, she's disrespecting you. Oh my god, those damn filters. F you, Samsung. She called an Egyptian man a camel and she has the nerve to say giving someone a harmless nickname that neither makes fun of his nationality or his religion is racist. She called a black woman coal. 
does she just think it's excuse because they were bullying her 